12 <clears throat> instrument. And now I am gonna piggyback, but I have to first decide on the correct end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant my fulcrum or establish my fulcrum and my palm is facing toward the maxilla and I'm just gonna put my point, my toe, on any one of the proximal surfaces or along this groove. Look in the mirror so that you see it the way I'm seeing it. Do you see it? See it? Because this is how you would see it. Okay, so here, here, or here, and now my parallel. Okay, but just for the sake of argument, how about now? But I can make it by doing this. Mm -hmm. But now where's the handle coming out? <clears throat> this way. It needs to come out this way. So remember that there are cheeks here and the handle has to come out of the hole of the mouth. Okay? All right, so again, complete indirect vision. I'm gonna establish my fulcrum on tooth number three. I've really piggybacked my fulcrum now. I'm going to extend the instrument in my hand. I'm going to lean toward the lingual and I'm going to roll over my fulcrum and place my toe at the distal line angle and go. And then when I get done, I'm going to turn my toe in the toward direction. Start at the distal line angle using oblique strokes overlapping one another and I'm gonna come around to the mesial. Now that's about as parallel as I'm gonna get. And that's okay because this instrument's designed that way. And then I'm gonna shorten up my instrument slightly, start at the distal line angle of the next tooth. And I'm piggybacked and I'm rolled over my fulcrum. Shorten up my instrument some because I'm getting more anterior. And right now we are exploring at the cervical third of each tooth. You can go sub if you want to. Notice my handle and shank are on the same side, so they're on the lingual. Okay. And I just back my fulcrum up as I move from tooth to tooth. And all three of my fingers are forced to stay together. Okay. Is that be good? Mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna to move to area four and I'm gonna go straight across the arch, just like we did on the mandible. I'm gonna establish my fulcrum on tooth number 14. I'm gonna extend my instrument. I'm gonna use my mirror for both retraction and indirect vision so that I can see the distals and illumination, so three things. And I'm going to place my toe, I'm going to lift up now on my fulcrum. So my hand is working as a unit, and that's going to put my instrument right there at the distal line angle. I didn't stretch my fingers to get there. Okay, I just rocked up on my fulcrum, and it put me right there. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it and go in the distal direction, same thing, rock up going to put me at the distal line angle. Adjust my grasp, move to the next tooth, handle and shank on the buckle. And 
as I move from tooth to tooth, I'm shortening up my instrument. You understand what I mean by that? Okay. And I'm backing my fulcrum up. So my fulcrum is moving more anteriorly. When you say you're shortening up your instrument, you're just... Coming down on it. That's what Because I started out with it long. Yes, mm -hmm. And if I keep it long, then my fulcrum ends up being more than one to two teeth away. And you want your fulcrum as close to the working area as possible. Yes, And I'm, I'm kind of flip-flopping my eyes between my mirror and the tooth itself, so direct and indirect vision. Okay, and everything stayed in close. Mm -hmm. Okay, shoulders were down. Areas three and four, the head should be tilted. The mannequin, or the patient should be turned towards you. Okay, you are the away position or 1130 you can be between 9 and 1130 so this would have been okay too okay. so wherever you feel good 1130 feels better to me because I get a better eyeball view in mm -hmm. my mirror this mm -hmm. way okay probably um, as it were you're less to lean over mm -hmm. so one through four you're in the same position one and two you kind of move your mannequin as you need to three and four your mannequin is turned towards you Okay, and you look in your mirror to see what you need to see. Okay, okay. all righty. Thank you.